Hey guys, Zach here, and welcome back to another action figure review, and today we'll be taking a look at the Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Attack Pack Troodon. Now, the thing I find really cool about this figure is that they actually based this off of the 2011 uh, Telltale game, uh, Jurassic Park the Game, because in that game, Troodon did appear, and I gotta be honest, I really didn't like the design of the animal in that game, but here, it's like, you know, they modified a lot of things, and it looks a lot nicer than how it looked in that game. Uh, they could have very easily just gave this, like, you know, a very bland paint. They could have, like, went with uh, Jurassic World Evolution because there was Troodon in that game. Uh, they also could have went with uh, the Troodon from the Jurassic World live show, but no, they decided to, like, hit it hard and actually give us something based off of, like, the 2011 Jurassic Park Telltale game. So, honestly, that's actually really cool. Um, of course, like I just said, there are some pretty big differences between those two models, but the colors are very close to what we see, and it's just really cool. Uh, by the way, Jurassic Park the game, very nostalgic, but looking at it as an adult, I'm not gonna lie, it, it kinda sucks, if you ask me, but I digress. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say, so let's just take a look at the paint. And the painting on this figure is actually really nice for, you know, a Mattel figure. So, of course, most of the body here is a grayish color, which does look nice. And we do have some, like, pink spots throughout, like, on the side of the leg here. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but there are some uh, very, like, faint, like, pink spots. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but I actually kind of like it. Of course, the underside of the figure, we have this uh, sort of salmon color. And we do have that, you know, at the end of the tail here as well. On the back, we have a little bit of a uh, black. Hey, that rhymed. Not intended. And even on the back of the neck and head here, we have some more blacks, which looks great. The eyes are painted like a yellowish-orange color, which looks nice. And the pupils are painted black. But something to note is that the painting on the eyes here aren't, like, defective at all. They look like, you know, they look literally perfect. I mean... From the front, he looks kind of cross-eyed, but they're not looking like different directions, and that's really cool. So it's really cool to see that on a Mattel figure, but I digress. Uh, the teeth are painted this yellowish-whitish color, which, you know, should be the color of teeth, as far as dinosaurs go. Uh, the underside of the figure, we have the scan code and the Jurassic World logo. And, of course, you know, kind of a shame, but honestly, not a big deal. Uh, they did not paint the toenails and fingernails, which... Again, at this point, you're kind of used to it. You get used to it, so this isn't really a big deal. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, that is pretty much it for the painting on this figure. And the painting on this figure is actually really nice. Um, not only do I really like the colors, but the paint apps are just, like, applied very nicely. So it's just, yeah, it looks really nice and, like, you know, very, like, presentable. It looks good. No, like, paint defects at all, so, like... Mattel, good on ya. Usually with, like, you know, a lot of Jurassic World figures nowadays, there's at least one minor paint, like, mess up, but no, not at all with this figure. Maybe there's one that's, like, really small, but, like, the presentation here is very nice. So, again, the painting on this figure, it's really good, so I'd say it gets a pass. Uh, now I'll take a look at the articulation. Uh, nothing too crazy, but there is some articulation we can talk about. The mouth can open that much and close like so the head can look up that much and down that much which again also it's cool but there's this weird like hunch here which looks a little weird but yeah the arms can move 360 they're made out of rubber so you can just like bend them around and whatnot to make them move 360 the legs can go backwards about that far Unfortunately, like, the arms do get in the way. So you do kind of... They can't really go 360, but they can also push that far upwards as well. So let's just fix that real quick. And we have a swivel at the tail here. And that's pretty much it for the articulation on this figure. Nothing crazy, but for what it is... Um, yeah, the uh, articulation on this figure is very nice. So, um, the articulation on this figure is good. So, I'd say it gets passed. Uh, now, I'll take a look at the sculpt. And the sculpting on this figure is very nice. 
Uh, like I said, they actually based this off of the 2011 Telltale Jurassic Park game. And of course, they made a lot of changes to that design because obviously they couldn't just take that and just sell that as a toy. They had to make some differences. And I think that's for the better because in that game, I really didn't like how the Troodon looked. Very just like, you know, like a middle school a middle schooler designed it. But here, it actually looks like an animal. You know, like everything is just really nice here and I like it. I like the included like um, quills on the back of the body here and on the back of the head. That looks really nice. And I also like the wrist uh, position, which, um, yeah, it's like sort of like in this uh, kind of like this clapping state almost. So, yeah, I really like that. And, um, yeah, the sculpting on this figure is just really nice. So, yeah, uh, the sculpting on this figure, it's good. I like it a lot. So the sculpting here definitely gets a pass. Now I'll take a look at the detailing. And the detailing on this figure, wow, the detailing on this figure is really good. So let's take a closer look. So, of course, going to the head here. We can see all the uh, bits of detailing in the head here, all the little scales and everything, and the nostrils there. Everything here is just beautifully detailed, just beautifully defined, and all the creases in the neck here. Again, just looks really nice, very nicely defined. I'm um, on the side of the body here. The side of the body here, like, all the scales are detailed pretty much perfectly. This is, like, this is great. This looks great. This looks and feels great, too. The quills here... They could be better, but, like, the actual detail on the side of the body, like, all the scales are just beautifully detailed. And we even get that, like, on the side of the arms here, you know. And the arms have a nice bit of musculature to them as well. But, um, yeah, the leg here also has a lot of really nice musculature and everything like that. And just, again, the scales here are just very nicely defined. Very beautiful. And, um, you know, the tail here, a lot of creases, a lot of, like, musculature, and again... The detailing here is just phenomenal. I love it a lot. So, yeah. That's pretty much it for the detailing on this figure. And the detailing on this figure is very good. So the detailing definitely gets passed. So, at the end of the day, should you get this? Honestly, I'd say yeah. Um, if you're a fan of the 2011 Telltale Jurassic Park game, I'll pick this up. You know, of course, uh, that game, even though I said I didn't like it, that game is very nostalgic to me. So this figure definitely hits me in that nostalgic spot almost. So I do like that a lot. But even though it's just like, you know, a dinosaur figure, this is really nice. Um, not perfect. There are some very minor things I do differently. But yeah, no, um, this is just a very nice toy. So if you want it, definitely get it because this is a very nice figure, especially for the uh, price tag, because this thing is only like under eight bucks which i think is a great price for this the detailing is great the paint is great everything about this figure is just really nice and honestly it's just really cool to see mattel step up their game as far as like quality control goes and everything like that because there's not a single defect on this thing i don't think anyway you know maybe if i take a closer look at it i'll find one but yeah no the painting here is just very nice so definitely get this figure if you can it's again really nice so yeah Anyway, if you want to know how big it is, here it is with the Camp Cretaceous Attack Pack Gallimimus. So, actually, I'll just move that in the frame for you. Oh, there you go. Uh, here it is with the Legacy Collection Dilophosaurus. Here it is with the Legacy Collection Galloping Gallimimus. And, of course... Here it is next to Dr. Billy Grant. And I think they scale pretty nicely. I think the Troodon should be a little smaller. But either way, that still looks nice. And here's some hand sanitizer. Alright. Now, that is it for today. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Zek out.